Hey, how are you guys? If you are successful like me, you've got yourself a copy of this and you can use it to build a Google Home cardboard thingy, you know, AI project. But if you weren't successful, then not all the hope is lost because you can use actual the same image um, to work with your USB microphone. And as you can see, some uh, probably here, excuse me, here is going to be nice, a uh, setup I've got right now, and it's only using a microphone. Um, I've got a nice USB Samsung microphone here and it's connected to my speaker which is a big speaker there and hopefully you're gonna hear it working so uh, um, let me show you can you run on a Raspberry Pi yes and not enough tech will show you how precisely so as you can see it's wor it's working I set the trigger to clap so I wouldn't have to connect an additional button because you know so in, it's impractical to go all the way just to press the button then ask uh, the most impractical question which is did I ever tell you the definition of insanity what's the weather like outside in Thornaby on Tees it's 17 degrees Celsius and mostly cloudy there will be showers with a forecasted high of 20 and a low of 9 yeah precisely and I could just look through the window. So yeah, if you activate it via clap, it's easier. And now I'll show you how to set it up. It only takes like two steps and then rebooting your Pi, uh, providing you already set up the Google Cloud account, which is pain, and you have the image downloaded from um, the project file itself. I'll link everything for you so you'll be fine. So let's get started. Once you've got your Raspberry image sorted and installed, just connect to it and we have to modify to file. First is the boot config file. We have to make sure our default sound settings are enabled. So just scroll down to the bottom of the file. There's going to be two comments that you have to disable and enable one for the default uh, audio. So just uh, hashtag it and uh, select it as, as you can see on the screen. Uh, I've commented it out as well, so uh, if you want to revert back to the original settings, you can do it by just uh, restoring these two lines and uh, uh, hashtagging the other line. So that's the first file. And the second is just to setting our default audio uh, device. And you do that by going to uh, etc directory and then a sound uh, config file. If I remember it correctly and in there we have to just uh, enter the custom Java file or just JavaScript that will um, handle this for you so uh, I'm gonna link it to on my website so click there uh, to copy and paste it make sure you're gonna get a copy of that file as well uh, if you want to restore it back now let's address the elephant in the room Where's the elephant? Here. It's a quite small elephant and it's called Raspberry Pi 0W. Should you run Google Assistant on Raspberry Pi 0W? Probably not. While it's technically possible, it's not as easy as you would think, mostly because of few things. You only have one USB to play with, uh, which means if you're going to use USB sound, microphone and uh, output, then you need a powered hub and that's not saving you money and that's not saving you space either. So for the sake of it, I'd recommend Raspberry Pi 3. Well, technically possible and tested, I've checked it. It was very slow to set up and you know, most of the time when you process the inquiry, you hit 100% of the CPU usage, which can slow um, the responses and all scripts triggered. So. I don't think this is the target device for this and stick for, uh, to Raspberry Pi 2 or Raspberry Pi 3. All right, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope that helped you. I hope that you're not going to be upset because you didn't get a hands on uh, on this. And I did. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and we'll let you experiment with uh, your own Google Assistant even though you don't get a kit. So I'll see you in the next video and as always, you know where to follow me, where to find me. I'll leave it all to you and your clicky fingers. So see you in the next video. Bye!